Hello, Mixer. How are you guys doing tonight? Uh, we are starting our night off with a uh, one shot uh, on how to train your dragoon. Uh, so let's get in. Let's meet the players. Let's uh, get this rolling. We are a little bit late tonight. We have some things to deal with on the server. And then, of course, we'll have um, Legacy Acer after this. And then another one shot after that. Yeah, it's going to be a long night for me again. Get the, you know, getting the whole not sleeping as much. So. Hello, party. Hello. Hello, Hello Seth. So, who is uh, who's been the uh, quote unquote party leader? The dragoon. Me. All right, explain what's going on then. Um, so we got a bounty in the Phoenix. Um, Thor Thorlador from from Thorlador. Um, to go fight some black dragons that have been causing some problems with. For some caravans. Alright, so you've assembled a crack team of who? Um, Dorn, Bravel, Amberwyn, Shrerik, and myself, Brienne. Alright, so where are all of you right now? The. Everyone say hi to Firefly. Hi, Firefly. Hi, Firefly. Tackle hugs. Tackle hugs, yes, six hours. So. Or you're at the Burning Phoenix, uh, sitting at a table? In the novice area. Right. Yes. Stands up, I'm ready to do this, right? Yes. Alright, what are you doing? We need mm -hmm. to go speak to um, Ember at the spelling error. Alright. Because the bounty said she will give Updated information. All right, so you guys uh, head towards the teleportation circle. Yes. Like it. All right, so you guys make your way to Gaven. Gaven asks, "Oh, uh, where to?" Thorlador, please. Oh, of course. Can I? You know, stretches his hands out, the fingers as the arcane uh, signals start um, bursting with life. Um, where are you positioned, Brian? Um. Stand next to the dwarf. Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> so, eventually the arcane light builds up around you, swirling, and you guys are teleported to just outside Clock Tower Square of Thor the Door. Um, Brand, you've never been teleported before, have you? Um, that's how she got to uh, the island, but that's it. <laughs> all right, so. By all means, make that constitution saving throw. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Dorn? Yep. That lass is uh, looking a little blue in the gills. Turns her towards, uh, <laughs> turns her to, uh, takes her arms and turns her towards, uh, Everwind. Everwind? Everwind. <laughs> Everwind. You look up and you watch this beautiful stream of vomit over your head. <laughs> One of the mages sighs, staring at Bran. Dwarven grumbles and Dwarven. Doran all sorts of curse words about humans. As it begins to Dor resuscitate away the mess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bran just says, sorry. What did you eat? You know, I don't rightly remember. That could be why you vomited. You should eat more. I'm a halfling, I know. <laughs> probably. So, you guys make your way uh, out there. Dorn, how are you feeling being in Thorlador right now? Dorn's liking being in Thorlador, but as I get closer and closer to the spelling error, he just, you know, he starts turning more and more sour. Um, just grunting. And I one walking, and the dwarf walking behind, just grunting just like you. <laughs> Looks over at the uh, dwarf. What's your problem? It says in dwarvish. You understand him. Okay. You know exactly <laughs> he's, he's complaining about exactly what you're complaining about. Dorn, Dorn nods. Um, and uh, echoes the same sentiments in Dwarven. Yeah. Dorn has made a buddy. His name is Sorn. Oh. This is Sorn? All right. 
Wait. No, Sorn's a drow. Screw that. He's not a drow. No, this is Sorn the dwarf. Gotcha. Dorn and Sorn. <laughs> Got it. Yep. <laughs> so. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a longer one. Uh, you guys make your way into the uh, the, ta- the the spelling here is uh, behind the the bar is a purple haired dwarf, and there seems to be a human uh, uh, speaking with her behind the bar as well. Uh, who's this human that we're that we're seeing there, uh, Craig? He's off to the side, actually. Okay. That would be Root. Okay. He's working on making some figurines, some little wooden figurines. Dorn looks around. <laughs> He's looking for. He's looking around, and he just goes, "I'll be outside." You don't see the person that you were expecting to see. You just see a dwarf. You see a dwarf standing behind uh, a table with a bunch of papers. He looks up. Ah! You must be the adventurers. We are. Freya nods. Who are you? Who are you? Me. I'm, I'm your contact. Crap, Evie, I forgot what we named him. <laughs> uh, looks. Looks for Epi. Oh, his name is Looks. Okay. So you all kind of make your way over there, and the bard is the bard's playing. Um, his name is uh, Shed Erin. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's going ahead and he's playing uh, a lovely song for the, the patrons. Dorn, just before you exit, you hear a thud on the, the countertop. Dorn will look over. Jeremy kind of looks towards it, notices. Have you met Jeremy? I have not. She looks towards you, she just says, looks down towards the, the ale. It is fresh dwarven ale, and it is put out for you. Dorn considers his options. Hey. She looks over about it. on the house. Whoa. Dorn looks at her and says, I'd rather you put it on Ember's head. And then on, Ember, on Ember's tab? Sure. She just goes and writes it on Ember's tab. Dorn still walks out, just in case. It's okay, see, you get paid for it. You're going to put an Ember's tab either way. I know it works. <laughs> so, uh, it looks you. I am Smithers. Uh, you are um, more than uh, more than uh, well, there's four of you. I thought we wanted five of you. <laughs> yeah, so, so the, uh, the dwarf cool that just walked out. Jerk said, looking towards the door. I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. Yeah, we didn't hear you a little like. The music is a little loud on stream. We'll fix. Jet, we couldn't hear you. I said, I think, well, we are, but one of us it seems to need some cool underground air. He says, Drex is confused, looking t- towards Dorm as he leaves. Dorm used to serve in the military, right? He's decently enough known. Yes. Oh, he just doesn't like current politics. No. Well, I'm actually shocked you got him to come. Brianne shrugs uh, and says, all I did was ask if he wanted to fight some dragons. Ah, oh, you said fight. That's the magic dwarf word. <laughs> ah. Brianne goes, I'm from I'm from here. I know how to talk to dwarfs. <laughs> Looks to you. Ah, oh, human. <laughs> Flips through pages. So. Caravans, the morass. They're going to go kill some mm-hmm. dragon king, right? Yes, um, the bouncy that was posted said we would get updated information once we came. Uh, they're still there and operating. Still there Smiles. and operating. Okay, um, I did have a few questions that I wanted to ask before sure. we set out. Um, is it just wormlings or are there older dragons? Uh, the dead bodies that look like they've been eat- eaten by dragon kin did not tell us. That yeah. <laughs> um. Is it 
It's definitely only black dragons, right? Uh, let's cover pages. The dead bodies that were found did not tell us that either. Um, I have a word? feeling I know each, each question I answer is going to be like, the dead bodies do not tell us this. <laughs> what did the dead body, bodies tell you? Uh, we are dead. Ow, 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 ow. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> As in, how did they die? One of their... Uh... It looked like they were torn apart. Okay. Yeah. So where is this black morass? Listen, how far away? How is dare it? you, sir? Just because my butt is a little big, I think I'll more. Oh my he laughs. Uh, he laughs as a. As a, a and he starts sipping his ale, and says, "So <laughs> you leave the front gates. There's like uh, some some of this uh, land, you might say. And then there's uh, Morden's morass. Um, and about how far is it away? How about a day. About a day." Um, Brienne looks to the rest of the party and says, do you have any more questions? Do y'all have any questions? So you're aware, Jen. Hmm. I'm gonna... I'll zoom you in here. So there's Thor door. You have this, like, uh, plains, this area. And then this, uh, the swamp right there is more than Okay. The green tree. Yep, yeah, the swamp. Okay. So then, I uh, just need you to sign a few copies of this and slide some papers out. Um, what do these say? Uh, Thalador is not responsible for anyone hurt, injured, or dismembered, dismembered, burned alive, melted, frozen solid, or electrocuted on this adventure. Rianne gives out a little bit of a chuckle. <laughs> Does this happen often enough that you need to make go and make a dark treatment about it? When you have my boss, this is standard for just meeting with one of her. Okay? This isn't even just dragons. It covers the bars, workshops. <laughs> General, general eating in the streets. Signs it. Fran will sign it. Drake shakes and signs. Amberwind will um, sign. Brienne looks um, to the door and says, "What about Dorn?" Ah, uh, he signed when we, uh, when before he left. It's okay. Okay. So, takes them all up. Files and puts them in bed. Very well then. Off you go. Okay. Follows Rian. So as everyone leaves, the dwarf walks over to Jimmer. They didn't even ask the dragon's name. <laughs> Sits down. Starts talking with Jimmer. I heard Dermot call BS on that because B would, he, I know he just would have been like, the dead body didn't tell us. No, actually, they carved it into one of the bodies. Ah, scandal. scandal. Everyone would have ended up asking all sorts of questions if it wasn't, the dead body didn't tell us. Well, the, the, yeah. the, that's, a, that's a standard answer. That's literally what's written in the report. He was flipping to different pages for different questions. I trolled you guys pretty well. Just yeah, yeah. Just Everyone it. peeks in the door. <laughs> Can I have a copy of the report? Sure. Everyone will run over to get like a copy. Six, six page report. Thank you. Like sorry, nine, the... like like five of the six pages are the dragon. The dragon didn't tell us. The bodies didn't tell us. Dragon, <laughs> dragon, Drake. 
dragon cultists. Hammerwind will look up towards the person and go, Did the dragon happen to say anything? Um, not to us, but it really speaks to the cultists. Page five and a half. Everyone will look towards page five and a half, looking for anything that the dragon told the cultists. Apparently, there is cultists that have started, since this has started, took up camp. Do you know anything about the cultists? Um, they seem to be wearing uh, black dragon masks, from what their scouts told them. Were they able to find anything else out about the cultists? Did well, they have any particular cultists, kinds yeah. of weapons? Uh, daggers and stuff. Regular, regular cultists. They're not very uh, creative cultists, man. Amberwind makes notes on the notes about how uncreative the cultists are. Yep. <laughs> and you find out the name of said dragon by reading the report. <gasps> and I will paste this into you right now. <laughs> the grumpy. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, we're looking for Gremid. I thought we were looking for dragons. Gremid apparently is a grumpy dragon. For my grandmother? It might be your grandmother. Oh god. <laughs> Did so you not give her coffee? Gremid, right? Gremid. Gremid. I know, I'm. So, Dorn, they, uh, they all uh, meet you up by the, the doors outside of the door. Should we get what we needed? Yep, we're finding some, some, uh, what was his name? Gremid the Grumpy. Hi. And there are cultists, and they're wearing black dragon masks. Dorn I wonder if I can worship me, Jerk. Wonders out loud with a grin as he walks out. They would probably be more stylish if they followed you. I like you. What were you saying, Dorn? Dorn just uh, lights up his pipe and listens to all this. And he's like, um, So. We know gone. What was that? Do we know where we're going? You and a robot. <laughs> yes, northwest. I thought it was southwest. Northwest about a day. Was it southwest? I you have to go southwest. southwest to get out of the city, and then northwest into the marsh. Okay. You're basically heading west, but unless you want to climb the mountains. The range. In the winter. In the snow. Ah, uh, I was looking at the wrong the mountains as part of the citadel. My fault. Nope. Yeah, the citadel kind of is the exit's right there. So yeah, you come out of the uh, you come out of these large stone gates. Uh, you see uh, something that probably hurts a bit inside you, Dorn, and you, Bran, being from Dorlador. Mm -hmm. The two large kind of dwarven statues on either side, still kind of the face and features are melted. Um, from the attack five years ago, have yet to be properly fixed. Dorn looks up. <laughs> nice to see her priorities are in order. Brian just. Brian, like, kind of looks at it for a little while and takes a very deep breath and says. Justice, 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 and she just, she just, she just starts walking in the direction that um, we have to go, just repeating it. All right, we do have one day of a travel mechanic, and uh, oh. Tree, you're gonna set the initial problem, and everyone's gonna try and solve it. Okay. Um. So. Since there's been a problem with dragons and caravans, we're gonna come across like a broken down caravan. All right, so as you kind of approach this caravan, uh, you see it's you know, half stuck in the mud, shattered, the, the reins that would have been uh, the hitching to the horse, and you snapped off, kind of blood on one of the ends as you make your way up to the caravan. 
Um, Brienne would. Oh, what she have? Mm. Would she be able to use survival to see if um, find any like evidence of uh, a dragon attack on the caravan? Sure. Eighteen. Yeah, I mean, you can theorize it was a dragon. There's no. You know, as you look around the, the front of it, there's no real um, claw print or anything. But I mean, something big and flying. It could have been a rock or something like that as well. You, you realize, but something big and with flight definitely snapped this horse right out of it. As you get towards the back, um, yeah, there's some pools of blood, and you see smaller, kind of clawed dragon in. Uh, kin footprints. Um, Brienne will point those out to the party. All right, Amberwin. All righty, Amberwin will, because of his curious nature, anyway. He would want to investigate more about the situation and how it might have happened. Okay. More in detail. Give me an investigation. You're looking at it and you're like, nah, nah. Eh, that's, that's, yeah, dragons. Dragons, man, dragons. They're probably it's probably just, dragons. Probably just, probably just in here in this, in this, this swamp and dragons out of nowhere. Ninja dragons. There you go. <laughs> that, that will take us to Bravel. Well, since everybody's focused on the uh, caravan, I want to take a look at the surrounding area, including the sky. Watch for anything coming back. Sure, go ahead and give me a perception. Well, it is late evening, and you do have your goggles of night and your stupid, almost uh, drow-esque distance. Um, sky seems pretty clear. Nothing seems to be in flight. Yes, the map is on Wildreach. I haven't updated it. Um, I can do that right now. Uh, that will take us to the Dorn. Since everybody is uh, concerned with a caravan, apparently, uh, Dorn's, you know, since the horses have snapped loose and such, he's going to try to uh, get the horses to calm down. Uh, the it's horses aren't actually right there, by the way. It looks like I get dragged off by the dragon. Oh. Well, interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, he's going to try to... Uh, he's going to see what the caravan, uh, you know, has in it. Um, you know, try to, like, slip his hand in and see what they're, what they're uh, taking with him. Um... You see, uh, like, a, a number of kind of uh, polar bear hides and uh, stuff like that. So you, based on... Give me a, a history, actually, on this one. Oh, You goodness. would have advantage because you are from the city. <coughs> you can do the tra current trading. Yeah, you wouldn't know that th this probably came to the pass, and it's probably from either Nick Maul, Ear, or Ragna. Um... But from the, the the Goliath lands, most likely, and came down to the pass. Uh, so it had to do a couple of days through the swamp. And based on the roads, right through the area that they're sending you to. The salt to the party. Pour their hives. Um, it's like they came through where we're going. Finally, Jerk. Gentlemen? You can hear me? Yes, we can. Can you hear us? Uh, I think 
lost him. This been, uh. I am hearing bits and pieces. I see types. Hello. Hello? We'll, we'll skip him, Gent. See if we reconnect him and connect again. Hello. It works. So, we'll actually move on from this because he is having a bit of issues. As you guys head forward, uh, night's just about falling, but you see uh, kind of like a campfire in the distance. Looks pretty apt. Um. Try and s stealth to find out. Um, like who it could be before we actually show if we are if we're going to show ourselves. I can make sure I get safe. How about now? Okay, fine. Okay, since okay, I was saying was since Bravo has to keep an eye out covered. Um Derek, and the, you said there was no like bodies around nothing? No. Derek can try to see if what like were they dragged away? Did they try to escape? Were they is there enough blood to say they were killed? Uh, uh, give me uh, medicine. Yeah, you're pretty sure that they uh, they were KA. All right. Uh, based on the amount of blood. Dragged back into the swamp. So, just to catch you up to where everyone else is, um, you guys are coming upon a campfire. Uh, 22 Perception. You hear familiar uh, words. As uh, there's, uh, there's a trinket medley happening. A what now? Medley? They're basically uh, a dwarven medley of, of so singing as they drink as they drink at the camp. Brienne kind of just like um, bobs her head a bit. So she goes, she she looks over at Bravo. She says, "I know this song." So can we approach that? You gotta hear them, they're loud, they're ruckus. Dorn's gonna hang time. back. Dorn's gonna hang back a little bit in the shadows. Okay. So, you know, they're, they're, you come upon uh, five dwarves sitting around a campfire. Big mugs, a keg, and. Ah! They see as they see you guys approach. Did he just like just yell? Yeah. <laughs> yell back. Yell. Hey! Drinks! Come drinking the drinking contest! Oh lord. <laughs> yeah! Part of me say this is a very bad idea, but other parts think who cares? They're all various por portions of Smashed. Sure. Wait, what does the what does the winner get? A yeah, pot! They point to this big bowl of coins. I'll join. You gotta point in. They How much? In ten gold. I can I can I can throw in ten gold. Yep. Yeah, we, you, 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 it's a small folk! Small folk! One of the screams. He walks over and picks you up in the big dwarven hug. I love small folk! And he's just like... <laughs> and you see Amber's legs like... <laughs> ragdolling as he swung around. <laughs> Yay for small folk! <laughs> but you gotta take... You gotta drink! Points to the points I suppose I could do that. Throws coins in. Yep. Throws the coins. So much for watching our Hobbit drinking I'm not drinking to win. I'm just drinking to make it 
seem like I'm helping alone. Okay. So, uh, you know, starts to, uh, basically starts to, um, go ahead and it look, looks to, uh, I guess we have, um, just who left? Who hasn't put in yet? Um, Dorn, I oh, Drake. Mm-hmm. They Drake. all look to Drake. I think someone in our party needs to keep a clear head, eh? They, what did I say? Look at Brienne. Since three of three of us are, are they gonna get their heads filled? I'll abstain. Abstain! You're an honorary dwarf today. Swinter's Crest. Last light and first light's coming. He can't turn down beer. Starts drinking mug. Of a pint. Ah, the boy. Who cares that you got scales? You're like a dragon, but you ain't no chromatic. <laughs> Drinks. You seen any lately? <laughs> ah, you made one. Couple. Five years ago, raving. Dorn, are you just standing outside of their view because? Dark vision? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think you're in there, Uh-huh. On Discord, or...? On, uh, World 1. No, not at all, Gordon. Okay. No, that they are... You see, um... Give me a, per- give me a perception and an investigation. I'll tell you what you see. Uh, so everyone at... That's participating in the drinking game. I need con saves. They'll each be making one. Winner takes the uh, 90 gold pot. Everyone is at uh, plus four. Uh, we're just doing straight rolls, because they'd be at plus four, too. Two. Three. Four. Five. So, they all start drinking. We just need one from Drek. Bravo stays up. The dwarves start falling off the, their stools. Ah! They cheer for the. They cheer for uh, Bran. As you get ninety gold, Bran. The dwarven Yay! Drink the and they uh, the one of them looks up to you, puts his hand on your shoulder, sit down as he stands up. If you weren't so tall, I'd kiss you. <laughs> he just smell alcohol in his breath. Um, Doran. Yes. You see paraphernalia that about five years ago would be similar paraphernalia to you would have had. Uh, these are these are dwarven mountain scouts. They, based on where they are, and you look at the the kind of the age of their gear. They're probably considered now. They'd probably now be considered deserters. Um, they're still doing their job, but they just—they're no longer affiliated with Dovidor. Okay. After. What are you guys doing? You guys technically in the in the camp with them. As uh, the sounds of the swamp will come in. Set watches. Yeah, set watches. They like right. and, and smile. You, you gotta just be. You gotta be careful if you're walking around. For what? Lord, make me deck safe. Okay. That was, was this what the investigation was for. The perception was to see what they had with them. Gotcha. You feel like a click and you quickly move your foot as a bear trap 
snaps and echoes. The two of them grab these long muskets and just, where is out there? Pointing, immediate standstill, with their guns out. The other, the other three are trying to find their muskets. They're just patting it down. One <laughs> grabs your leg and tries to lift it, Brian. Has a musket. I try looking out. And the last and the last one wields Amberwind. Like a musket. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse is if one of them decides to try to pull the trigger. It'd be oh your foot. God. Bang. It'd be your foot. Yeah. If it ends up pulling on his foot to try to pull the trigger, Amberwind will actually use produce flame and end up making fiery effects <laughs> like it just shot. So this, 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 is, this is the current state of them. They're looking out in the darkness and they cannot see Dorn. Dorn will uh, get out his pipe and light it so the flames flicker across his face. Yeah, the, uh, the is going to... One holds his, his, his gun out, looks, staring at you. Both of you kind of on the edge of each other's vision. Uh, you can see him better. You've mm -hmm. got a cowl up and everything. And <laughs> fucking kidding me. Puts the gun back over his shoulder. Ah, put your hands back. He's, he's cranky and old, but he ain't, he ain't a problem. Dorn, as you, you get the view of this man's face, you know him as Thelmer. Dorn uh, finishes lighting his pipe, puts out the uh, puts out the match, and of course just puffs. And he goes, Thelmer, you still are a piss poor uh, scout if you're being this loud out in the open. Thelmer smiles. Unless you're trying to attack your truncheon. I'm surprised you're still alive. I thought you died in the inner dark. Never came back, as far as I saw. Kinda holds a mug out to you. Doesn't. He get. That's all I heard. Okay, I said he'll uh, he'll chuckle a little bit and say, um, "Yeah." And what do you see now? And I'll take the mug. He looks. I don't know how you did it. Well, you found a way to survive. I always did. Cranky old bastard. He goes, See you no better at finding the bear traps, though. He smiles. Bear trap didn't find me, though. <laughs> uh, that's why I clinked, right? <laughs> he chuckles. But I'm not attached to it, am I? No. Yes. I wanted a, wanted a million chance for everything in there. Lost. Well, yeah, there's, I? You, you recognize most of the faces. You don't know all their names. Um, right. you know, the, pretty much this is his unit. The, these these dwarves have been together since you were young and non grumpy. <laughs> you know, like you know when yeah, you, 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 yeah, they've been together for a few hundred years. Because Doran's like what two something? Is one fifty? One fifty. Yeah, so they've been together a little bit longer than you have, than you've been around. But they're probably like twenty years your senior. Dorn, uh, Dorn, um, sits next to him and just, uh... You, you also look, as, as, as you see, one of the dwarves who's clearly smashed still has everyone by the feet, the rest of him on his shoulder like a gun, and everyone's just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Dorn just, uh... Dorn just looks at him and, uh, goes, uh... You know that uh, just out of curiosity, what are y'all trying to attack, attract the attention of? Well, dead people in the morass. We normally stick just to the, the mountains, but maybe some dragons afoot. Nothing as big as five years ago, but a little revenge ain't a bad thing. Dorn nods and you know, uh, sips on sips on his ale and then um, smokes his pipe again. So it's revenge is what you're after, not the defending of Thor the door. 
Oh, we'll defend Dolador our way. On our ancestral heritage. Looks over to everyone else. No offense, you're sure you're all good people? But, uh, the only people here fit to sit in the throne are dwarves and door the door, as far as we're concerned. So you're planning to take that raggedy bitch off the throne? And they kind of look stirred you up and down. We'll, uh, we'll temper it to be peaceful. We've been working for years. We're just, we're, we're not the politic type, are we? But if enough good happens from up to the centers, who knows? Maybe we can swing the city. Dorn nods. He's like, so get it back to where it's supposed to be. How it's supposed to be. The only Not have to worry about these problems. Nods. Dorn looks around at uh, all the other ones. He goes, if you're trying to attract attention, it's probably best you don't have your... Uh, Partners, just completely plastered. He uh, reaches down, pulls a chain with a small vial. He pops it, drinks it. You watch the glaze in his eyes completely go away, and he gets stone cold sober. We have our ways. Dwarven return. He, uh, each of them do it. Drink. The guy looks at, puts everyone down, pats on the head. Sorry about that, lad. I wouldn't mind some vials of that. My cousin could really use it. She gets drunk a lot. He, uh, reaches in the pack and gives a small vial. Yay! I can make Raleigh sober! It's an, it's, an, it's an overrated state lad. <laughs> Valdor's chuckle and nod. So have what have you, you I'm sorry, go ahead. You were about to ask the same question I was. Go ahead. What have you heard about the uh, cultist and dragon in the area? Uh, there's somewhere here. What kind of motions towards the same direction you were traveling? Apparently, uh, apparently this is, uh, one of the presents left by, uh, by the bitch dragon. What, what news about? Apparently she's up some of her kin in the mountains, in the marshes. Rumors that there's some even in Cortia. That's not good. Killed three so far. Don Nor nods. Um, a group and I took care of a couple of them last night. They weren't oh. black, they were white though. Ah that big that big trucker from the north. Could be competing for territory. Nah. Working together? You know it. There's a uh switches to dwarvish. Looking at Dorn. Anyone else here speak Dorvish? Nope. 
Anyone speaking in Dwarvish? Nope. Nope. Ran? Mm -mm. So in Dwarvish looks, found an old, uh, I want to call it a mine, but it's not really a mine. It's more of a temple. Built like an old mine, though. In the mountains, the pass. Uh, older than Thor Lador. He's in his camp. Temple to who? More than... No respond in Dwarvish. But, uh... It seems like it was a safe haven to fight against the dragons. Thousands of years ago. Uh, some. The stone looks so old. I've always called Thor Lador the cradle of uh, dwarven culture here in Laika. I think this is the real Thor Lador. Mm -hmm. We may just have to up ass the city then. Who knows? Needs a lot of work, but it's also in their territory. We bloody civil war if we ain't careful about it. Real dwarves want support her. That'd be true, but Cortia will. Nick Ball might. Yeah, it does have our treasure. Dorn nods and uh, empties his pipe, puts out the ashes, puts out the embers on it for Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> I hate embers! Um, you know, he uh, looks and goes, I think we're heading to the swamp. But uh, you've been needing help with the mountains. I'll stand with you. Nods pulls out a small kind of circular uh, flat stone. Resembles a coin. Mm -hmm. and it's got dwar old dwarvish runes. It's not dwarvish words, but you can uh, you understand it. It's an old kind of a signal stone, uh, like a, uh, almost a codex. Okay. If you will. Uh, to kind of maneuver through the mountains. He nods. If you can, I'll, I'll get word to the guild for you. See if we can get any more. These, these fuckers hate dragons worse than I do. Nods. Switch is over. Back to common. There's a... Uh, There's a prince I hear out in uh, yeah, Yedria, I think it is. He's uh, some sort of dragoo, some sort of dragon killing expert. He might be able to help you when you need it. Brianne, hearing this, blinks and kind of tilts her head. And, uh, like, sh would she have heard of him? Based on who you didn't know, you wouldn't have heard of him. Because mm -hmm. the, person, um, or the person that would have trained you, that would have been from Yadria, would have still thought he was dead by the time that made it to you. Okay, um... She says... You heard that there were dragoons in Yadria. That's where the, the tradition was created. Yeah. Um, she says, do you know his name? Griff something? Ruff, Griff? Ruffin? Dorn, si Dorn size, Griffin high wind. Hey! He looks at, uh, he looks at Brienne. He goes, there's actually a bounty for him in the, uh, guild hall. What kind of bounty? Jerk speaking up. I read that one. Some about some relic. Didn't seem to be good. Oh, okay. Not a bounty to get him. A bounty from him. Yeah. 
bounty form. She nods mm-hmm. and she says, I have to look into that. Doran looks around and goes, uh, mind if we stay here with, for the night with you lads? Good, good people, they're always company. Doran chuckles. He goes, let me, let me rephrase this. Mind if I stay with you here tonight, lads? <laughs> he laughs. They nods. They all kind of give a chuckle. So, who's taking first watch? Probably. Doran will, as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah the, the second watch will be two of the, do- two of the doors. Third watch will be one of each. Jarek and one of them. So, first... Your first watch comes up, Bravel and Dorner up. Hey, is there any conversations in the AP that happens, or are you going through the night? I would ask what was the uh, the, dwar- the other language, what was that about? Or is that none of my business? Dorn, uh, Dorn says apparently there's uh, dragons in the mountains, too. Apparently they... Uh, there's a temple over there. A temple? Temple. Older than self. That's something to look into later. It's up to them. If they want the guild's help, the guild will help. I offered mine because it's my home. Even though that bitch controls it. What is that about, anyway? The bitch? Yeah, I've, I've never heard you actually talk about what's going on in, in Total Door. He tells you that everyone has advantage as we hit 11 retweets. <laughs> continues. That's exactly how he says it, and then he starts smoking again. Um, no, he says, uh, you know, Thor the Door was destroyed years ago. Five, six years ago. Black dragon attack. That's how I got ended up in the in, underneath the ground. And uh, came back. And do you know who they put on the throne? Not a clue. Not a dwarf. Not the ones who made Thor the door. But this. Wannabe. This. Absolute disgrace of a queen named Ember. He spits on the ground. She doesn't need to be in charge. She does a bad job. She has no right to be in charge. She's not a dwarf. I see. And she's the fact that she calls herself queen. It's an insult. Dorn, it's an a insult. History check. Is there something you're also missing in the story, which I think you would have mentioned by now? Come on, zero mod. You know that she has some lover that you don't like, either. Some lover? Lover. Lover. Oh. Do you remember now if that was your clue? Yep. Yeah, okay. Continue. Um, he thinks for a minute. He goes, no. <laughs> he goes, to make matters worse with her? She didn't try to make her claim to the throne using a dwarf or... Anything like that? No. No, no, no. She picked an orc. An orc or half orc? I didn't hear. He says orc. It is a half orc, but he calls her an orc. Okay. The Great Dwarven City. Run by a wannabe. 
and by side to has tried to wipe us out for years. He spits on the ground again. I can see your point. It's an insult. It's a disgrace to me and every soldier who's ever fought for the Lutheran. Everyone who's ever claimed it is home. Doing, of course, they're keeping. They're, he's keeping his eyes out the entire time. So yeah, yeah, of course. I can't think of any other questions for Bravo would be asking. Mm -hmm. Just okay. small talk after that. Yep. The next, you know, the ship goes by. You make up to the uh, the dwarves who take their post. Before the third shift with Drurik and the dwarf are woken up. The dwarf kind of you know, grabs a pipe and begins to smoke. Drurik sick. Sits quietly for a moment, you know, keeping his head looking around. Looks, looks at your scales. Takes his pipe out. All right, lad, I gotta ask. Go on, he says. He's he's kind of like walking a circle or, around. I, I'm not so, did your mother fuck a dragon or did your dad daddy fuck a dragon? That shit ain't natural. <laughs> Points to your scales. He looks to the dwarf. As far as I know, both my parents are human. He then starts going generation by generation and just keeps asking until you figure it out. And if you don't know, he's just going to keep going generation by generation. This, yeah, this is the entire watch for him. Yeah. Basically, after grandparents, he's like, I don't know. <laughs> For, for the record, Sev, I was picturing uh, Jurek going, not, not Nana! <laughs> not Nana! No, Nana! Hey, speak about my Nana that way. Like, you, out of character, I'm pretty, like, yeah, his father was a dragon, like, in human form, but, like, yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't know that. No, no, but I'm saying, but he, this is the dwarf. The dwarf's gonna keep asking. Do you have any questions for the dwarf? So, just, despite all the constant barraging by my family, it is rather pretty nice to have someone to keep watch with. Usually, it's, it's a solo job. And he stops and looks at him. But what exactly is it you guys do? He said, looking like kind of in, in towards him and the rest of the dwarves. And Dorn. He puts him a finger and walks towards his tent. And, uh, comes out. You're dragging this hook. There's this black... You know, about a wave room's head. And, uh, pulls one out. Goes back in, pulls a few orc heads out, goes back in, pulls out a Durger head, puts his foot on the dragon head. Does this answer your question, laddie? Rather well. <laughs> Smiles. He goes, he looks, he sits back down. He used to, he used to be part of the, the Thor the Door Scouts. Uh, survived the, the Life Taker. Now we, uh, we do what we can for the city, but not under their rule. Yeah, you, you guys and your arms um, seem kind of up in arms about what's your name. Buddy, do you, do you consider yourself a human? A dragon? Oh, the, I can't remember. Uh, you're, you're kind of like, what, that queen, that... He almost, he starts to say queen, but he kind of like remembers how they kind of react badly to that earlier. The woman who is in charge. Of oh, he's asking you, does he ask, do you consider yourself a human or, or a dragon? Because to him, you, oh. you consider yourself either way because you have scales. Jared kind of, he and then shuts his, and kind of tilts his head. 
I've never really thought about it before, honestly. Well, let's say you consider yourself a human. You came from the bastion of human civilization. Everything good in, in your culture came from the fact that a human sat on your throne. And then bad things happen. You lose lots of your people. You lose your great king. One who's, who, you know, has done nothing but good for your people. And now someone else sits on the throne. None of, none of your kin. Who wants to think they're your kin. Claims they're your kin. But does everything disrespect your kin. Are you going to be happy in your town? If I could be perfectly honest, Mate, mate, I don't know. I never cared much for anyone higher up than myself. I, I lived my life in the sea. The high, highest authority was the captain. You know, there's a mutiny. And you liked your captain. And, uh, were you, were you a pirate or were you a sailor, son? I have no passing judgment, I just so I can better explain it to you. I was a sailor. And all of a sudden, a pirate took your ship. And you could either walk away, maintain your honor, or bend to that pirate who killed your captain. Probably because of well, the reason your crew died. Would you serve the captain or would you keep your honor? I throw the captain up, throw the pirate overboard and take the ship for myself. If only there was a few people in Dolador as a ship. <laughs> he pops his uh, pipe. And night wanes as uh, morning begins to come. As, uh, you know, eventually, Jarek, you wake up the party, he wakes up the dwarves. Kind of, the dwarves kind of look across all of you and start packing their tents up. All right, mates. Born, sun's up. Burning daylight. Let's go. It's a good night. Thank you. Dorn, uh, Dorn goes up to Thelmir. He said, uh, if you need us, uh, contact the, uh, part of the guild, the, uh, Burning Phoenix. This is just oh, yeah. Looks to you. Let's see if you can kill a dragon first. Dorn chuckles. It's all yours. Again, two. Yeah. More. He chuckles. Kill far more than two. Smiles. Thorn nods and uh, shakes his hand. I shake your hand back. Thelmar looks to all of you and in, in common and goes, Very well, we'll leave you this, this uh, dragon to you. Went back to the mountains. Deserve a little bit of rest. Again, thank you. They're not. It's a pleasure meeting all of you. You get yourself in the mountains. See ya. You got a deal. Go say that to you, lads. And they all start heading up, you know, towards a path that leads towards what you can see is the uh, the range. So. You guys heading in the direction? Yep. All right, so you guys travel for about another uh, you know, half a day, light starting to uh, cascade, because it is winter um, in the north, and you mm -hmm. know, light, light going down earlier than normal, especially this close to the mountain range. Uh, you lose daylight really early um, with the mountains um, blocking the sun. As we... Uh, you guys start to approach, and you see in the very distance, uh, Bravel actually before Dorn. Uh, by the way, who here has dark vision? Raises I hand. do. 
Bubble, you look over your shoulder as light vanishes and Dorn is gone. He was just there. Where the, where the, the, the sun Dorn. Basket. What's going on? Dorn uh, says, um, I, uh, um, or Lad. Time in the dark, uh, time in the dark, time underneath, changes a person. A grin appears on his face. I like the trick. Even though it's probably not a trick, it's still good. I like it. How do I tell where you are, though? I'm always here. Remember that. I'm always here. Good. I'm always watching. I like being able to see you cast light on this earring. As Doran immediately reappears. Because mm -hmm. the party was together. Uh, real quick, uh, Sev. Mm -hmm. I will say this. It may not matter, but I'm going to say this. Uh, he does have mountains as one of his uh, as his natural explorer. Yeah, it, it shouldn't matter in this one. Okay. Is not all this... All right, so that being said, you guys start to uh, make your way in kind of like a, you see this uh, kind of rocky crest um, which seems to break off from the main swamp. Doran and uh, you kind of realize through being a ranger and knowing the morass. And Brian, I'll give this one to you too, based on being a dragoon. Mm-hmm. Probably the place. Alrighty. So Bravo and Doran, as you guys are heading up, you see these uh non-winged look like dragon kid kind of over and picking at something no. I'll put my light out Thorn disappears again hey everyone are you uh doing the thing oh Thorn It's you and me, everyone. <laughs> <Let's t> <laughs> are, you, are you doing the uh, the thing? Amber? Which thing? The 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 dark vision thing for yes, party members of your party. I will go ahead and do dark vision for the party members. Okay. Just <laughs> so you guys see brief Dorn for just a split second as the dark vision comes and then he fades from your your view. And I'm just going to fix your tokens. Oh. The world's very... The world. You don't actually have to whisper. Nobody just can't hear you. I said, he says, wow, the world's very gray. What did you do? I made it so that you can see. I not complain, but... Do you have a way to make me see in color? Sadly, no. Color's a sacrifice that ends up coming. It's only temporary, though. Alright. He says, everyone, as they hide. Oh, Lord, I just saw your stealth. So immediately, there's a <laughs> splashing and lots of noise as all of its heads just pop up and snap right at you. And, uh,. You guys roll initiative one second, I move you to the map. Okay. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. Yeah, that, that, that might be home. the worst stealth. It was seen so bad. Like, I, 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 have to, I, have to, I have to roll the extra things into initiative at this point. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, goodness. That is, that is, that is absolutely amazing how bad the stealth was. Three, three natural ones, and one of them had double nat ones. Uh, oh, guys. 
Get the nat ones out of the way now. Now it's just yeah. Um. <laughs> nat twenties all the way, right, Dorn? Crumbles, crumbles. This is why I'm salty. No, that's why. The, that's why I can hear you. You're crumbling too loud. So yeah, that many nat ones. The uh, the ones that you I think just you can see Bravo down to the other camp are looking in your direction. All right. They've heard. There's no way to get around that one, man. Nope, not at all. Not with that many nat ones, and one of them is a two. Uh, let's see, D and D bottom. D and D combat music go. All right, I will roll the enemies in. So these are worm. Like, these are black. These are uh, you don't know what they are. You've never fought them. But for what do they look like? They look like wingless wormlings. And they're standing in a pool of water. They are sitting in a small island, seemingly picking apart corpses. Okay, so they're kind of raised up. Yeah. Yes, oh, that is not in the water. You guys are currently like shin deep. The normal person. Oh, worry. Does the water make it difficult to read? Nope. It's not deep enough to make it difficult. It just makes it, it just made it sloshier. Said the uh, last one didn't show up in. Uh... Yep, they're not supposed to. They're inside their tent sequence. Gotcha. I just forget to whisper their rolls first. Yep. All right. Dorn, you somehow mm -hmm. still win initiative with all the net ones. <laughs> It's amazing. So these things are noticing us? Oh, they already know you're there. Okay. They don't know you're there. Uh, actually, you may know. They heard you, so you do not have... Because you double that one, yeah. They, they heard you. They know something's there. Alright. Well, he's gonna... Or to kind of tell what they're eating on. Uh, you give me. I'll give you a free perception. Looks like a horse and a couple of caravan dwarves. Probably the ones that were missing from the caravan. Going to the side, move up here and stab at this one. Yeah, this flashes and see, kind of starts tracking you. Okay, let's do this. So two attacks. Mm -hmm. An eighteen will hit. Right, slow up. Oh yeah. You barely like, scratch track. it, this thing is hardy. That would be a crit. For 11. And then third attack because, uh, Boomstalker. First round, yep. A15 is 15. also hit. 
for 14. Needing crit on the last, oh, the D4 from, oh, Gloomstalker, gotcha. Uh, still up, looks bloodied. Okay. And that's really all I can do right now. Okay. Actually, I've got a little bit more move. Can I go around? Can I go around to here? If you have the movement, yeah, you can. Okay. You, uh, you realize that as you look down, mm -hmm. the, 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 the gunk from the actual swamp as you're standing on land is making you visible. Huh. To them. They immediately snap to you. Because you're invisible, but the gunk itself doesn't go invisible. Right. We need press digitation. Sorry, spending time in the Underdark didn't exactly make me want to, uh, you know, practice cleaning. Yep. You hear? Yeah, I'm done. You've come to play. Does Motorhead one, start playing? I give you one chance to serve or die. And it echoes from, like, deep inside. No one responds. Nope. Storm's already seven people. He can't really respond. <laughs> kind of busy right now. Brianna shouts out. Nah. <laughs> Jerk's going to let his fire get, do the talking for him. Speaks low rumbling and draconic. Bring me their heads. Bravo. First bonus shield of faith on myself. Okay. Move up and swing at the uh, hurt one. Okay. 16. 22. And I just hit. 22. Sorry. Still up. 10. I would take my second swing at it then. 24 advantage hits. You kind of come down and the thing, you know, tries to keep itself up. You just take right into like it's it's uh, jugular is just blood splatters and it falls over dead. Okay, then I would use the remaining gun. And that's it for me. Okay. This one circles around. Yeah. And they're going to make their. Uh... AC 23. Actually, yeah, they're both going to make their attack. The well, one's going to make their attacks. One. Uh, miss. Both of them miss on their bites. And they both miss on their tails. And then these ones have how much money? Both of these dive into the water and go out of your sight. This one is still has movement. Is gonna let you have an attack opportunity. You hit. Fine or not. You can if you like. And then dives into the water. This one went. We'll come right there. That's all's movement. That is them. This man steps out of his tent. Don't think he can't see any of you, so hold the spell. Amber. Uh, 
Um, he's going to call up Ice Spider behind the Drake. Okay. You have it, or did you pull it? I have the pull. I can pull up the token. Yep. I'll use it. It's a large creature, though, right? Yes. And roll initiative. All right, so initiative. Yep. And that's your turn. That is my turn. Okay. Let's make sure you have your concentration icons up, please. Thank you. And Drek. All right, he's going to get up here and then going to firebolt the uh, the guard drake. Okay. That's yeah. great. For twenty-four. Yep. Kind of shrieks out in pain, and that's all he's going to do. Okay. Nope, now you turn. Both of uh, these things pop out of the water. Yeah, there's two things before you breathe. Yep. They were just Thanks, guys. Uh, they fly here. They are both in the air. And, uh... They're both. I'm gonna need uh, that ice spider queen to make me a pair of saves. I'll tell you what they are in one second. Uh, dexterity saves. Passes the first. Uh, so I'm gonna do the f that one first. This is acid matters. So it'd be eight twenty total damage to the ice spider queen. As they both let out this acid breath that starts melting away your spice meter green. And Dora, do you see these things? These black dragon. Uh, those we... were spells? It's within my. Those reach. are natural abilities. Okay. Yeah. Breaths are not spells. Never mind. Same like monk, monk uh, abilities aren't spells. So that is them. The cultists saw come out. Um, oh, they, yep, they uh, they hold their actions. Now it's Brian's turn. Okay. I can get there. And I will smack this thing with my glaive. Okay. Has dragon tag, right? Uh, double checks. They are dragons, yeah. 26. That hits. For 10. Okay. Second attack. Is it 24? Hits. For 13. Still up. Um, that is her turn. Lashing damage, yes. It's lashing damage. She's time lashing very heavily. <laughs> um, and that's her turn. Alright, back to the top of the air with Dorn. Okay, so Dorn is going to uh, <laughs> get his... Uh, Get his bow out, I guess, instead. And uh, he's going to try to shoot at this dragon here. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to make a uh, spot check to see if they see the uh, stuff off. Okay. Because you're outside of its blind sight. Right.
Yes, does see the uh, the stuff pointing at you. You don't have advantage. Okay. So first shot. Made it. Made the exact check that I, I put it at. By the way. Ten. Ten kind of flies wide. Take a pull a second out. Yep. Twenty-two. That is definitely hit. For six. Okay. These seem less hardy. Anything else? Uh, I'm just gonna stay where I am for right now. So, yep, I'm good. Insolence. As looks at its breath weapon. Thirty foot. It appears. It is, it is gonna drag in like a dragon. So this thing flies to here and uh, is going, actually, since I'm, I'm looking at it differently, is here. Bran and uh, the Ice Spider Queen, right? Because it's up five feet. Nope. Everyone in this line. Next 30 saving throws. Those are all failures. Anybody using reaction or anything? Um, do I get a bonus from Bravo? No, it's a breath weapon. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, I no, thought it was for all saving throw? saving throws. Saving throw, yes, yeah, four. Still, so, still fail. 16, yep. okay. Nope, you pass. Just pass. Oh, awesome. We'll take out. You'll take 22, everyone else takes 44 damage. So Drarek and the Ice Spider Queen take 44. And then, as, Ice a, dragon, spiders down. as a dragon, it has super movement, flies back. Just kind of sitting there cresting over the water. Your wings beating. Um, ow. And starts speaking to Drarek. End them! Why are you sitting there? Bravo. Swing at the one in front of me. A 14 hit. Uh, 14 meets their armor class, actually. For 12. For 12. That's another kill. You're kind of like waist deep. Yep. Okay. Waist deep. Uh, that's it for me. Okay. Just getting clarification on something from Epi. Uh, okay, so I need two rolls right now. Minor magic item. Uncommon to Jen. Major magic item. I can't do that to Storm. Storm's not in the game. <laughs> this is one of the few games it's not in. Damn it, Abby. Um, what am I rolling? Minor magical item. Uncommon. Minor uncommon. Okay. You gonna move a rod. Oh, Amberwin, he just, he got your own. Amberwin, major magical uncommon. What'd you get? I'm just marking him off. Weapon plus one. What do you use as a weapon? Uh, mostly my either my quarterstaff or sling. Which one would you like plus one? Uh, I think I'll go with my staff. All right, you look down and you know your stat, your old staff is kind of melting from the acid. You're like ah, you grab, you reach one, grab one down from the dead bodies, and it's magical. You're like ah, and you're like oh that looks cool. You grab one, you just you get a rod with the button. Later on, Amberwin's going to be like, we should have lightsaber fights, because we both have one of those. Okay. You're on. 
So, the guard drinks. 20. He gets there. As they come out with. Can just get there. And this last one. Just barely avoided Rebel. Have you taken one spot to your right, Rebel? You may get an attack opportunity on it. Actually, I want to ask about something. You said the cultist was holding a spell. Oh, he is holding it. Thank you. He is holding a spell. Looks at his spell casting. <laughs> Make me a wisdom saving throw. You're fine. You're not held. Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah, it would have. Um, so, let's see. Amberwind, you're going to take two attacks from uh, the one below you. Bite the tail. Uh, where's your armor class? I, I'm sure they both hit, but... Uh, 17. Okay, they both hit. A natural 20 and a 22. I just I wasn't sure if it could. Uh, that's 20 damage to your armor wood, Total. And okay. it just, you know, pounces, kind of almost gets you down, tries to force you down, and just takes, like, chunks of your, your armor in with it. Uh, that is next jerk at advantage. The one to your nor uh, northeast. Mm -hmm. What is your armor class? If it beats a 16, it, let me know I'm an all shield. Beats a 16. All Both. shield. First one will, will hit the shield. The second one is a natural 20. Okay. You'll take 8 damage. Alright. When I said saving up for the natural 20s, I meant for us. Ah. And Brian, the one on your right is going to attack you. At advantage. Okay. What is your armor class? 14. And one will hit the second one misses, barely. You'll take okay. five damage. Okay. That takes us to the cult fanatic. Raises his hand and just, no! And just throws out another spell at you. Another wisdom saving throw. You'll pass again. And then begins to raid towards you. Amberwind, it is your turn. Alrighty. Just reading something real quick. I don't think it's big enough. And since this guy is right in front of me, I think I should probably work on him. So I will go ahead and... <laughs> that too? Um, Bristol! That wasn't Bristol. No? The that was Vax? a small dog. That was Vax. I'm going to go ahead and delay leave my staff so that I can use my better Bristol. modifier. Yep. And then I'm going to smack this guy with my stick. Okay. Bad guard drink. Bad. Bad. Uh, 14 will wait. That's their actual AC. For 10. Still up. This was the injured one, by the way. It's your old Yay. One. And I will use one of my summer bombs on Drerick. Right. I'll actually use two. This I realized he was actually lower than he actually is. 11 points of life back to Drerick. Cool. Okay. What did you use? Summer bomb. Summer bomb. Alright, that will take us to Drerick. Uh. Okay, I'm going to use a sorcery point to twin cast Shocking Grasp on the two dra drakes at the bottom. Okay. The red and yellow. Red and, red and green, gotcha. First two red. That is a hit. For four. For four, okay, and green. The other one to green. Uh, you may roll damage. 14 to Brienne. <laughs> Of course, that's goes out and just kind of slides the side as Brian goes to stab it. And just... just... Anything uh, else, Drake? Whoops. Bonus action, I'm going to drink a healing potion. I mean, to be fair, I don't think you weren't one of the ones that nat won, so... On your stealth, so... Yeah, yeah. there's that. Oh Alright, that's the turn. Yep, yeah, I'm going to drink a healing potion. It's my uh, bonus action. Okay. Is like Brienne wearing them. metal? She, what what kind of armor are you wearing, Brienne? Um, chain shirt. Yes, wearing metal. Is that double damage? No, it, it, it can't have reactions. 
Oh, you have no reactions. Okay. Okay. Uh, so red gets its breath back. Blue does not. Red moves up here. And uh, I need deck saves from you two. Well, you pass. And you fail. Oh. It's 23 damage to Drark. And 11 damage to Bran. That's the exact amount of hit points that she has. She goes down. It starts in Draconic. Uh, the par okay. So, all of them Firefly? The top two or the bottom ones? Just so I know. I gotta mark them off. So, Bran roll a supreme, Jarek roll a superior. As Firefly <laughs> donates, uses her uh, two of her healing potions from the 12 Days of Patreon. How Thank much you, is the, the supreme? 10d4 plus 20. And yours is 8d4 plus 8. Okay. Thank you, Firefly. Thank you, Firefly. And she goes back up to full. Behind you start seeing yourself fall back as this acid burns through you. And that, that that heart of the dragon inside you, the part of the, your train just bursts almost like a, a, a warm flame through you. As you stand, you just start catching yourself with your pole arm. Push yourself back up, ready to fight. Your wounds just kind of almost melting away. Drag the, your scales just you know, this, this is this is everything that in your soul that you have to fight against bolsters you. I ain't going down that easily. He says in Japan. No. This dragon is gonna hold its action. By the way, bro. Blue? Yeah, it's waiting for its reinforcements. Okay. It's intelligent. They rush up and start surrounding you. Yep. So I'll do the dragon first. C23. Yep. That's a mess. The cold fanatics, I, I think the cold desk can't even hit you. Yeah, they got a 920 to hit you. At least they're at all advantage. One, two, three, four. One hits you. One not twenty. All right. Seven damage. Uh, uh, DC. Hellish rebuke. What's up? Hellish rebuke. Okay. That's a deck save from him. Yep. Fifteen. He will pass with a twenty. So it's like half. That's a six. You don't have. Do you have workers or no? No. Your uh, your shield pit goes down. Yep. Brand. I'm going to use my bonus action to elusive jump ten feet right here. Okay. Um, and she's just gonna say to them, "I'm gonna go help him." <laughs> and then, in order to get advantage, I'm gonna stand right there and okay. hit this guy, the blue guy. Yep. With Great Weapon Master. Okay. That's an 18. Yeah, 18 hits. You can't not kill him. With GWM, you cannot kill him. They're cultists. They have nine hit points, man. <laughs> and then... Do I wanna... Yeah, I'll move in range of the dragon. And I'll go... It is in the guy. air, by the way. Oh, he's in the air? Yeah, oh, that you don't have to worry about. And I will Great Weapon Master again. Okay. For 15. 15 will hit. Again, they're cultists. Can't, can't not kill them. And, yeah. You just see the, you just see Brubbles, you're kind of surrounded. You see her land, and you see the, the, the tip of the polearm come through this one's chest. 
And then she slides over and you see it again burst through the chest. As they plop down nice. in the water. Ooh. Um, and if Freanne moves here, would she get an opportunity to attack from Red? No. Okay, then she will move right here so Brovel can get advantage on his attacks. Okay. Dorn! Okay. Dorn's gonna shoot at Red. Uh, red Guard Jake or Red Worm? Uh, red Guard Jake. Okay. That's a crit. Hey, For 11. S barely up. Second attack. Yep. Hits. Great. Yeah. First one hits it. Yeah, it's kind of like almost starts rolling. You see that soft underbelly? Right in the heart. Just the eyes roll back. It comes over. Blood starts spurting out. Okay. And that's me. Let's see, D6. Nope. Flies. Slams down. In. And just looks to you, Brian. Yep. AC is a 14, right? Yes. Okay. Hit you three times. Okay. Uh, the first one is 26 damage. 20 piercing, 6 acid. Ouch. The second okay. one is a 20. Hits you for 10 slashing. Okay. The last one is a critical hit. Ouch. For 14 slashing. Oh my gosh. I'm still up. Oh wait, my bad. I'm gonna do that. And just... Have you taken Heritage yet? Huh? You're playing the same archetype as Griffin, right? Yes. Have you taken Heritage yet? Chromatic no, I have or, not. Or Metallic? Or um, I mean, she worships Bahamut, so... But so doesn't Griffin, but he has Chromatic Heritage from, for Slay. That's why I was wondering. Okay, good. Um... If you haven't had one yet, then it's fine. Problem. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take two attacks of opportunity of up here and cure wounds on her. Okay. They will both attempt to... 21. Yeah. Uh, one is at advantage. Which will hit. Yep. Second one misses. It is a critical hit, by the way. And that is uh, 13 damage to you. Actually, what damage did I take the first time? I think it was a look. Seven, so it's 20 total to you. Do it level two. 14 to her. Thank you. <laughs> and that's it for me. Okay. Gardrix. Yeah. Yeah. AC again, Jen? 16. If they beat it, I'll try to shield. They beat it. I'll try to shield. 21. You'll be hit twice. Still. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 damage. As they start mauling uh, Jordan. The cult fanatic moves up. And uh, he was going to attempt to do this. This is Mother Burger. Tracy. Fourteen. Okay. A 19 will then make contact with you. Okay. Is it a spell? It is a spell. 
she has resistance to the damage. Okay. I just gotta see the, the damage that doesn't happen on here. I forgot that they have to be re repulled. Boom, 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 boom. 40 10. So you'll take 12 points of necrotic damage as he inflicts wounds on you. Grabs you by the like the, the face and just the, the necrotic comes into you. Rob will save your life. Yeah. Emberwind. Yay. Well, I got two enemies around. Right. So I guess I'm going to focus on those enemies for now. Varric falls and I rush forward. I'm not going to help. So I am going to target blue with my stick of stickiness. Whoop. That is a hit for 12 on blue. Yes. So I'm glad being very loud. You'd be hit by stream. And I will, since she's within view and I can see her, I will do two summer bombs on Brienne. Okay. Eight. Eight healing to Brienne. Thank you. That's it. All right. Drek. Okay. Two sorcery points for a quicken spell. Okay. And I'm going to cast Hold Person at fourth level to get all these the two cultists into this guy to here. Okay. So as a bonus action. Yeah. DC is a 16. Okay. Make sure he doesn't have anything to stop it. Okay. So wait, what's your DC? 16. Cultists, I'll make one save for the two of them. They all fail. They're all held. Alright. And there's my main action. I will spend one sorcery point to twin cast shock and grasp on the two uh, okay. near me. Let me put the little token on. Okay. It's first to blue. It's 15. Hits. For six. Okay. And then for green. Miss. Eleven. Alright. That's my turn. Alright, red and blue. Nope and nope. Flies over here. I hit. Yurk. Uh, shield. Still hit you. Take nine damage and make me a con save. At advantage. You have more caster? Yes, sir. Works. Makes it. And then Bran. An advantage. Hits. Yep. Okay. For five. Okay. End of the cultist turn. The both make saves. Mm-hmm. Looking for a 16. They will fail and fail. 13 in that one. Moran! Alright, I'm going to... Elusive Jump here. Okay. And I'm going to use my advantage. And I'm going to jump. And I'm going to Wrath of the... Let's do... He's a black... Let's do Wrath of the White, so cool damage. So that and is I'm... your action to put it up. You're supposed to put it up before combat. I said it's standard. It stays. Oh, is that? It's a consistent ability that you can change. Oh, I didn't know that. It just... Oh, I didn't know that. Then I won't do that then. 
You still jump. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, you still jump. And let me take my elusive jump off of here. And I'm going to great weapon master this guy with advantage. Because I'm using my advantage. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy. Oh, God. You already used your advantage. No, um, the advantage I got from each feats. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't land on Rubble. Yeah, I don't land on Rubble. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is that is a that is a big old miss. Yep, and then I will do my second attack. Do I want a great weapon master? Do I wanna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Nope. Miss. Nope. It laughs at you. And you have if you if you took the the chromatic one, that you have a chromatic. It just looks at you and says, You aren't strong. You're nothing but a weakling. Dorney! Dorney is going to shoot at blue. Okay. Of the, uh. Black. The, uh, yeah. The one by you. Gotcha. That is a hit. Pretend still up. Yeah. It's now bloody, though. It's a hit. Four. Okay. Anything else? Oh, that's all I can do. It's gonna see if it gets his breath weapon back. It does. Ouch. Right there. Going down to Bravo and Brian. Dexterity yep. saving throws, please. You both will pass in the positive side. Yep. It's gonna hurt. So let's take 23 points of damage as just you are engulfed in acid. Um. This blue yep. is immune to acid, so it doesn't matter. I'm down. Just you just see this thing land next to Jared. The ground kind of shakes a little bit, and you just see just it the, the chest expand, and you watch this torrent of acid sprays across. Bravo looking really hurt. You look as like the acid throws. You don't see Brienne. She's currently drowning under the water. That is its turn. Bravo. I reach down and use lay on hands on her. Forty, all of it. Okay. And that's it. All right. Uh, no, I'm gonna drink a potion. Okay, we'll allow that. I'm sorry. Uh, greater healing. Nine. All right. Takes us to the guard drinks. Who are going to? Hit you, uh, there, her, probably. Yeah, at least being that you've been hit at least once. You shielding? Yeah, why not? Right, one, two hits instead of three. Okay. Uh, for ten in the first one. And how many hit points do you have left over? Fifteen. Nine in the second one, so two con saves. With advantage on both. <laughs> you maintain concentration. While you're I do. The cult fanatic will attempt to make the wisdom save. He will. He is no longer held, but that is the end of his turn. I'll take us to Amberwind. Uh, things are definitely not looking good. He can actually consider he is kind of together. Doesn't want to use AOE. Eric is already looking bad enough. Ugh. And he's a six. Yeah, but if I use Ice Knife, that's going to take you down. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, you're Sorry about that. No worries. 
I was looking over what all I can actually do with the dragon up close now. <laughs> uh, make it mad? Make it mad? Yeah, make it mad. Come beat on you. Sure, why not? That's just, that's just one thing you can do. I guess I'll blight the dragon. Oh, you're gonna blight the dragon? I guess I might as well. I'll blight the big bastard. Okay. What is, uh... What is your DC? Because it's, uh... Oh, you can control it. I mean, it, it succeeds. Because it's a dragon. Um... So that is 15, 18 points of damage. It looks towards you. You seemingly gain his attention. Groovy. It growls low and draconic. I don't understand what he's saying, mm -hmm. so I'm going to go ahead and summer bomb Drarek for another two summer bombs. Seven points of life. Live, damn it, live! <laughs> and that will take us to Drake. Fun. Um, hmm. There's a lot of things around you right now, Drake. Huh? There's a lot of things that can hit you right now. R. Well, this sucks. Twin cast shocking grasp again. Okay. First on blue. Fourteen. Fourteen is a meat. to blue. Mm-hmm. Oh, wrong window. It is still up. And the other one to, to blue as well. Nope, cannot. Need to be different targets. The green, then. Okay. That's it. 24. For nine. Bonus action, again, drink a potion. Okay. Uh, red first and blue, as we've always done. Succeed for them? No, five, six. So you already have shield up. However, it will still hit, even with shield up. Okay. You'll take nine points of damage, maybe that con save. Twenty-six. You're fine. Bravo against you with advantage because of the reach of the young one. Yep. As a hit for thirteen. The cultists will make their save. Sixteen, correct? Yep. They will fail again. Bran. Alright, um Bran is going to move over one right here. And Going through the motions. She's gonna jump. Okay. She's gonna great weapon master. Okay. On this. I mean, she does have advantage. That's exactly why she moved over. I say 20 to hit. A 20 does hit. So 21 plus her jump. 31 damage. Okay. Still up, not even blooded yet. Yeah. And she will do it again. Not jump, but um, Grey Weapon Master Glaive. Okay. Oh my You'll goodness. Miss. It's so bad. Okay. <laughs> um, That's her turn. Dorn. Dorn's going to shoot at blue again. Okay. The, probably if you hit it, it's probably dead. 
course. Uh, roll damage. Eleven. Drake, eleven damage as he just is tracking it. He doesn't see you as your hand goes out to grab it for shock and grasp. It's just shot through the palm. Ah. Second attack, Jordan. Next time, get out of the way. <laughs> That's it. It's still up. All right. I'm not saying it's at a hit point, but uh, <laughs> it doesn't. Have, it doesn't have two hit points. It has less. Right. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so negative three. Got it. <laughs> so that is done, right. sir. Anything else? That is done. That's it. Young Dark Dragon. Yes, Daddy. All right. This is uh, this is about to happen. Jerk walks away from you. All right. I'll fire him. Actually, no, I won't. I'll fucking grasp because I'm still surrounded. Okay. Never mind. Roll damage. Don't I have advantage because Brienne was there? Uh, technically, you do. And you miss. Okay. Uh, as it's going to come over here. And it's going to, uh, it's going to hit the, the dragoon. Yeah. Uh, hit. Hit. Yep. Hit. Yep. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll give you total damage. That is 28, 39, 45 damage. Full round of attacks. Down. It just, just, you watch it, Bravo, as it circles her. Jarek trying to just grab its tail and missing. Just out of the grasp of his fingers. As like the, the uh, sparks um, from shocking grasp kind of explode in the air. And it just stalks its prey. Just almost the grin on this dragon's face. The horns as it just grabs her with its uh, mouth. Biting, almost lifting her out. And then just slams her with both claws in down the water. Just looks at you. And... Steps over her in front of you. Yeah. Hi there. Submit. I can't do that. You're no fun. I'm plenty of fun. Wrong kind. Hi, Bravo. I'm guessing I, I cannot. You can attempt to. It is going because it is standing over. It is going to use its reaction to oppose you. Yeah. And I would swing at. Oh, swing at the, the young. Okay. That is it. Divine and use bonus for a snaring strike. And snaring, don't you have to cast before you hit? Um, it's a concentration spell. You gotta call in snaring first. Yep. So you can do it for your next, you the, the second one. Yeah, so set, uh, you, you, uh, there's seven off that one. You cast as your bonus. The vine's almost rolling up your uh, sword. 17. Will meet. It's a strength if save it, of what? That's if it. Strength check, right? Uh, strength saving throw, yes. DC? It's 15. That matter fails. Roll damage. Four. Uh, and your regular damage too. Swords to lit. Ten. Doesn't doesn't need to do anything more as it drops to the ground. The vine's kind of wrapping up around its neck, just pulling it down, and you just see the life go out of it as it gets pulled into the marsh. There's a low growl. Anything else, Bravo? 
Nope. Godric's turn. Blue's gonna go first. Because, uh, it's probably its last turn. Jurek, Blue, at least hit you twice. Alright. Yeah, I'm going down. You only have two hit points then. Yeah, the first one hits you. You're down. Four damage. Uh, Amber wins. Second one would be on you, because I haven't repositioned. Uh, Blue, he would attack, see him go down and hit you. Uh, 21 hits, correct? Yes. For five? Alrighty. Green then repositions. I'm already going to use the rules. What's your AC? Second one definitely 17. hits. First one misses, it misses with the bite as it moves positions around you. And this, then the tail cracks you for six damage. Yay! Cold Fanatic moves up here. And uh, your AC is what again? 21. You'll be at resistance automatically for this. He's casting a spell. Okay. He misses twice in this. Spell's failed. Amberwin. Yes. Your turn. Oh, sorry, I was answering a question on, in your chat real quick. Ooh, your questions. Hey, you play this? There's a... So, I think they want to know about retweets and uh, also about... Uh... Donations, they can they... help the party. Oh, Donations, so, and so also how to, uh, and how to join in the game. Oh, of course. Uh, you can retweet, and I will get the link again. It's been a little while since we've had the retweet link. You can retweet. Uh, we already hit the 10 retweet uh, sessions, so... At 10 retweets, uh, everyone in the party gets advantage. At uh, 20 retweets, everyone gets a natural 20. 30 and so on, we start giving bonuses to everyone. Uh, you can donate down below. Um, donate down below to give the party magical items, healing potions, heal everyone. Basically, give the party assistance. Uh, I get that you're on Xbox. However, there's a great thing called, uh, if you're on a smartphone, like most people do nowadays, uh, Discord is on your phone. You can join us for the RP portions, as well as, uh, because we are pro members on Roll20, you can actually play from your phone. It's a little bit harder, but we will work with you and teach you everything we know. Uh, you can join and be part of the community by joining on the Discord link down below. Um, I will actually get your Discord link right in chat. Um, so, you can go ahead and do a bunch of different things. Join us uh, that way, Swivel. Uh, we also play a ton of games on Xbox. We play on PC. We're giving away a couple copies of... Uh, Sword Coast Legends, they are for Steam, though. Um, so there you go. That All being right. said, Amberwind, it is your turn. All right, it is my turn. I am going to... Oh, dear Lord. I'm running out of options. Um, I guess I will try Turn into to... Turn into Bogomas, run! I could do that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't want to have party members end up dying or, off. Or being eaten inside by a drake. Who could technically actually keep you inside its stomach? If I ended up going to a, wa a large creature, could I legitimately end up going over the top of Drerik without squishing him? Uh, in theory, yeah. I mean, you're, you are a druid. This has been part of your life. You uh, wild shape hundreds of thousands of times, probably. I would say that, yeah, you, you would be able to potentially not hurt him. Alrighty, I am going to... Combat is only a flat d20, and if you're a roll one, you're going to step on him. Just because yeah. of his combat, this is, you know, Amber has yeah. a ton of combat. Alrighty, let's do this, see if this shifting is going to work. Yep. You don't step on him. Sweet! What are you turning I'm into? Going... I don't have a whole lot of options for CR one half, so I think I'm going to go with Black Bear. I don't know if that was new or, or from a while ago, but that's already gone. Black Bear, do you need me to pull yes. that, or do you have it? I can pull it. Okay. <laughs> so that's your, that is your action. That is my action. So you're and... the moon. Nope. Can I still use my summer balm with the new form? No. Uh, can you link Summer Bomb for me? I'll look at it. Of course I can. Because it's weird. Um, some of these are weird. Single one will be immune to this. 
I'm a font of energy. I would, I would say, at least for right now, yes. Because it is not a spell, it is an ability, and due to being a druid in Wild Shape, you can use naturally gained abilities, like tough, etc. Features. Okay. I'd say, at least for this case, we'll look it up later. But I'll okay. say, for this case, I'll say yes. Then I am going to use that to try to get Dreric conscious, because Brienne something has under. something un over her and something under her. Uh, yeah, he'll be prone for his turn. He'll have to move, he'll have to move out of the square on his turn, or stay prone. Yep. He still has a guard bear standing over him. Yeah. He gets a temporary hit point as well. Oh yeah, he have been doing that. Oh. Then we get six. Sweet. Look Craig finding all the things. I know. So six temporary as well? Yep. Okay. Uh, no, one temporary. Yeah, There's I just one die didn't call spent. out the other dies for the other bombs. Yeah, the most the same. We'll, uh... Yeah, for future ones. Mm -hmm. It'll be six in total. Five and then one temp. All right. Okay. All righty. So that is. Turn. I just do this. I'm gonna just move you over here for now, just so that for the stream you're on top of it, so they can see it. Yep. Um. That is everyone's turn. Drake. You're like, oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. Why is there a bear on top of me? Shh, shh, just let it happen. <laughs> I mean... Hey, Swivel, thank you for the follow. Jerk's gonna crawl out here and stand up. Okay. Uh... One sorcery point to twin cast, so I can grasp again on blue and red. Okay. There. Twin red blue. blue, it's dead. It had a hit point. Alright. And then red. Misses. Bonus action, gonna heal him potion himself. Okay. And that's turn. Er, uh, and I'll also move, well, actually no, I'll stay there. Alright. These sixes. Red first as always. Is not. So it is going to go ahead and try and nom on it some Drak. It hits Drak. I'll uh, shield. How many shields you have left? I have this two is... more thirds. Okay, so Three you're using a higher level? Yeah. And the shield blocks it. Okay. Which brings us to the cultists. Come here and then circle around. Yep. And they're gonna go ahead and attempt to stab you. You're at a 21, right? Correct. Uh, one will hit you. Okay. And you'll take five slashing damage as the skimmer just cuts across your back as it moves around you, just blood dripping down. Uh, probably this is probably as bad as op as you you've been outside of your very first mission. Um, you know, there's that kind of adrenaline pumping through your system. This is an yeah, Elder Brain mission. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Brian, death saving throw. There's one success. Dorn. You are oh, still currently goodness. drowning, by the way. Um, yeah, do I have to put a failure for drowning? Nope, because you're not taking damage. Okay. Yet. Okay. You're basically okay. inhaling water under the ground, trying to struggle for air. Next next turn, you're probably gonna your lungs aren't gonna have room for air. First turn, no. God dang. Uh, shoot a green. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen is a miss by one. Just skitters off along the uh, 
the skills of the dragon. Second one, dead on, you find that purchase. For 10. 10? Yep. Okay. Anything else? Dragon, the D6. Does not get it back. So, Bravo is coming after you. Yep. This is gonna hurt. It is gonna hurt. hurt. Maybe not. Bravo. As the dragon just you know slams its uh, head towards you, you jump back, kind of bouncing up the cultist. He swings wildly, missing you. You kind of duck under one of the claws. The second one coming from this uppercut, and you get your shield out in time as it just scrapes up, picking you up, but you maintain to not take any damage at advantage as it 20 on all three attacks. Wow. At advantage. And Bravo, it's your turn. Let's uh, get rid of, uh, what's his face here? No, that was the little, that was the little one, and it, it died from insane. Uh, you're going to take care of the call fanatic, okay. Yep. That's it. He is still up. That's it. He is still up. I'm not a war cleric. I can't do it. I'm going to chug a potion. Okay. 13 healing. Yes, plus 13, not minus. <laughs> so you want to take away 13. I, I mean, as a DM, I'm, I'll give you an okay. This guy, Jake, moves up. You're going to bite at the black bear, uh, which will hit and will hit. Bite and tail. For a total of nine damage. Rolled really bad for damage. And that one and the two. On damage. I'm not complaining. No, the no. bear bite me a little bit, though. <laughs> and then uh, Cult Fanatic's turn. He's going to go ahead and... Is he casting a spell? He is casting a spell, yes. I will counter spell. Uh, you cannot. I cannot? Did you cast shield this turn? I don't think I have yet. I have no you haven't come back up. No, you do not. You can't. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can spell it. Just fizzles out. <laughs> Amberwin. Yee! I get to have fun as a bear. Okay, I'm going to hit it green because okay. it's there and it just took a bite out of my butt. Well, technically, its tail slapped you. It's tail it, slapped. Okay. Slapped your butt. I'm going to bite at its tail, and then I'm going to claw at its tail because I could do that because I'm a bear. Uh, they get this one gets multi attack. Black bear. Multi attack. Black bear. Uh, the ten will miss. The claws will. Hit. For seven, you kind of you scrape some claw uh, scales off it. And it just snarls back at you. Mm -hmm. All right. That will take us to... Anything else? Nope, because I has no real bonus action. Okay, Drek. Um... Hmm. We need to get rid of these guys fast. I will use my bonus action to turn a second level slot into two sorcery points. Okay. I have one more second level. This will be a grand total of four. And I will spend those all four of those to twin cast blight on the red thing and the green freak. Okay. So concept, so first on red. Roll, just roll one for the pair. It's fine. It's not a to hit. So we can use one damage. Um, young, the young one, even the red one, the red dragon and the green priest, right? Yeah. Uh, the green one doesn't get a save because even if he passes, he's dead. 
He just watches his skin shrivel up and he just keels over in this pile of mush. And then no. the Wormling no. will not succeed and will still be up. But it is pissed off at hell of you. So. That's fair. <laughs> that's your turn. Unless you're moving. Uh, nope. Alright. A d6. Does not get it back. Goes to bite you. Will hit. No matter what. I'm not telling you that. That's why I whispered rolls, because you guys are supposed to know. Are you going to shield or no? Yeah. The shield just catches it. A 20, your AC goes to a 21. Mm -hmm. The bites at you. Uh, that takes the cultist turn. The cultist yeah. is going to stab at Bravo. And because of killing another cultist, you're not critical hitted. Rabble, and it misses you. Brian, does say, it again? Because he killed another cultist, it would have been a natural 20, but that was an advantage. So he misses. Thank you. That is two failures as you are starting to suffocate. Dorn. Oh, green below me is still alive? Green below you is still alive. Uh, it looks bloodied. The red wormling is... We'll save one hit point. And at 33, wow. he dealt 32. That it. That's his max hit points. He almost one shot him, man. He'll drop his bow and pick up his sword. Okay. And he'll attack it uh, green. You gonna slide? Actually, he'll Yeah, he'll go here. And take the green. For natural 20. Yep, that's gonna do some damage. For 12. Okay. Still up. Second attack. Yep. 17. Is it hit? Six. Still up. Looks really hurt. Okay. Oh, He'll take the opportunity attack and go here. Okay. Uh, mix it with the rest of the I will hit you. Okay. For four piercing. Okay. All right. Uh, I will. I will look. I will look. Uh, Firefly. I didn't hear it, but I will look. One second. Yeah, it it didn't trigger, but I see it. Uh, everyone can kill back a quarter of their hit points, as Firefly donates ten dollars to y'all. And uh, Thanks, I Firefly. refresh this because it didn't alert me. Make sure that Streamlabs is set to. Uh, set to make sure. Thank you, Firefly. This calming, um, you know, little light, like moonlight kind of comes up, rad radiates down as each of you just feel this little bolster of energy. As almost because of the, the area you're in, uh, a friend of, uh, a friend of yours there, Bravo, seems to be looking from the moon down upon you. It feels like a warm hug. It feels like a warm hug from a, from a, a cleric of a Celestial, we'll say. Area-wise, you're right near the High Temple. Brian, you get it too. Yep. You are still, uh, by the okay. way, drowning. Your, your lungs are full of water. And cultist. Yeah, you <laughs> turned it to goop. You, you inhaled some of that cultist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna gonna point that out there. 
Yeah, sorry. And that is Doran's turn. Brian. Yeah. Uh, you really don't want to. Do, <laughs> you really don't want a six right now. That's all I'm saying. Oh God. <laughs> Brian, you made me a dexterity saving throw at the bottom. Oh God. Robble, you may as well. Ouch. Uh, you both will fail. Yep. That'll be 44. And this cultist... By the way, he took the cultist out. He doesn't care about cultists. Who will also fail. You hear the screams from behind you, Rubble. As he just... Melts. You see bubbles for a second? Like, oh, she's alive! And then you just see acid. And she just takes this big breath. Rubble's barely standing. The cultist is melting behind him. However, you reset your death for the saves there, Tree. Yeah. <laughs> Rubble. So some might say you're at two hit points. And they would be right. <laughs> uh, on who? Can't hear you for talking. Probably. Orange, I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh, yeah, that kills him. And a 25 hits the dragon. Okay. Oh, yeah. Divine. It just hits. Looks a little bloody now. Now it's now it's angry. Kind and rears up. The wings unfurling. Greater. Okay, let's have some fun. Done. Hi, Drake. God bless it. You need an attack of opportunity, by the way, uh, Amberwood. I think I'm gonna go with the claw then. And that yeah. one seems like it would do a little bit more. That's and I'm it. Uh, this one goes ahead and makes its full round of attacks on you. Two hits. I'll try to shield. Oh, you're hits. Yeah. You're... No, you're gonna shield up. You'd have to recast but... it from around. Uh, Fifteen hit points worth of damage. Okay. The uh, call fanatic is dead. Takes us to Amberwin. Squee! I get at the red guy. Try okay. to see if I can hit him. Yeah, uh, you hit and kill him. Get a hit point left. Woohoo! You move into the uh, the guard drink up one. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move up that there. That will hit the fourteen. Will hit for seven. Some might say you leave this one at one. Goodness, Amberwind, you need to really work on your hits. Everyone, you guys left three enemies at one. Did I? Yes. That is Amberwind's turn. Yep. Moves us to Drake. Okay. Just, just kind of Drake's kind of posturing. It's trying to keep itself up, trying to look tough, but it, leaving the dragons at one has got to be something recent because twice last night you left them at one. Yeah. Okay. I'll use my bonus action to turn a third level slot into three sorcery points. Okay. How many slots do you have left in total? I have uh, two. One more third and one more fourth. That's it. Okay. And then twin cast. Okay, first I'll tw I'm going to twin cast firebolt. Okay. I'm using my advantage to spin it out for the green. Okay. Like three. That your you donated one, correct? Yeah. Or no, the um, the uh, retweet. Do we get donated retweet. one? No, the retweet. That's I meant. I meant retweet. Okay. All right. Firebolt. Twenty-two. That's it. That's a kill. And then the other one at the big dragon. Okay, which is still going to be at disadvantage. They happen identically. Okay. But you did even out the first one. A 22 will still hit. For 10. And uh, I'm going over here. <laughs> Put 
open the bear between me and the big thing because I'm mm -hmm. kind of spilling my guts everywhere. Yep. And that will take us to death save from Brienne. That is two failures. Because you are still drowning. You never got any air. Uh, Dorn. You're talking. I'm just going to move to here. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Perfectly. Okay. Very crisp. All right. And he's going to stab at the uh, dragon. Okay. Advantage because of problem? Correct. And Hit. three. And 12. Miss. And 11 piercing. Jay kind of looks over his shoulder at you. Tail kind of swings at you. Doesn't realize you're a dwarf because right over your head. <laughs> Anything else, Jordan? Uh. God, uh, as a bonus action, because I should have done this before, Hunter's Mark on sure. the dragon. So, all right, I'll put up my concentration on it. All right. Rubble, let's get all D6 10. Dexterity saving throw. Nope, but I should have used my advantage. I forgot. I have 18 hit points left. Okay. I mean, there is chances that you don't die. Yep. However, that, that's going to hurt. Uh, how, you have how many hit points left? I have 18 left. My total was 68. Okay. Maximum. Okay. Uh, Brynn. Yep. <sighs> There's a few bubbles under the surface. Stop. Yep. <laughs> However, I got this one, man. I got this one. So all of them, just confirming. Confirming, Epi. Okay, give me one second here to block something out. So, Doran. Make yes. me an attack of opportunity as this thing's leaving your range. It is an intelligent creature. It would rather live to fight another day. Okay. And it is hard enough. 23. Uh, 23 is it. Okay. I, I get uh, another's mark with that. You do. So 17 altogether. Still up. It means okay. to fly straight up. You know, brobble under the water. You see the little no more bubbles from Rin. And this thing, Dorn, is about to get away on you. And you, you know, Jarek's kind of like holding his stomach, barely really able to kind of stand up, drained. He just looks like basically death warmed over. He's so out of magic, he's pushed himself to his limit. Amber has no more healing. The bear looks, you know, decently beat up. Amber has no balm, he still has yeah. spell slots. Yeah, just go with it. Starts, yep. you know, Flying away, what did you curse out in a dwarvish? Yeah, it goes, you know, he says, uh, he goes, you know, Thorlador will have its vengeance. You hear a cascade of gunshots. The muskets from, uh, from one of the ridges. You see this thing just hit, scattering across multiple times. The blood's just going everywhere. This thing starts to fall and just cascade down into the water, dead. As, uh, your good old buddy there, Thelmer. Look like you're having a bit of trouble, friend! Shut up and help us! It's, he watches the thing, he watches it lands next to you, dead. I wounded it! I did a good job! You're just never good at finishing. Because it shoots. And uh, he goes. He, he motions to two. You see uh, the a couple uh, a cleric coming running down. 
holding on a totally symbol, putting its hand, you know, looking as you motion to Brienne. Basically, Abby called in all the ceiling potions, so we're wrapping yep. it up. Yeah, you know, okay. they they get they get to her just in time as they revivify her, kind of pulling her head out of the water as she just exhales and just starts coughing, you know, mucus and everything just muck out. And uh, you know, they they bring Robble back around as Amber helps to tend to the wounds. And you guys end successful. Hooray! Yay. Very close. Epi called in everything he had to help you guys clinch the victory. Thank you, Epi. Thank you. Greatest crew member. I mean, what? Yeah. What was the dragon on? When it flew? Yeah. So when it flew away, I will tell you this right now, after Dorn hit it, it had 18 hit points left. Wow. I did what I could, guys. If it, if it, you if did it, great. If it didn't get the breath, it was going to disengage and fly. Hey, Sev. Yes. I just have a quick question. Yep. If it had ended up coming down to it and Amber had been able to get to his turn and this hadn't gone for the dramatic ending, mm -hmm. I was curious, would he have been able to get an Earthbind off? What's the range? Uh, 300 feet. Yeah. It only has needed for fly speed. It has to be. Thank you, Mixer. So, Mixer, they're going to head back. They're going to wrap this up. We're going to say goodbye to you. We'll be back in about 15 to a half hour with Legacy Asian, our normal Friday game. Uh, some big things happened last week. So, the party's got some shit to deal with. Um, yeah, we do. We'll see you guys. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for calling in your 12 days of Patreon. Welcome to the new followers. We'll see you guys here shortly. Thank you, Thanks, Mixer. Bye. See ya.